Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you happen to be in the world. I am today looking at the Spirit of the Island, which at the current moment in time is a demo. It might not be anymore by the time this is out, I'm not too sure. But the Steam page for this game says, Spirit of the Island is a colourful life simulation RPG set on a tropical paradise. Help the locals grow crops, take care of animals and turn a desolate archipelago into a prosperous tourist destination. Now anyone who knows me knows that I like my farming games, which it does look like. There's a lot of farming, you got some cute pigs, some little chicks and everything, and the graphics look adorable. So I'm honestly really excited to see what this is like. I do know like the Story of Seasons games recently kind of brought in a, a bit of tourism, like the more farming you do, the more people start to arrive. Like that's definitely a thing in Pioneers of Olive Town. So I don't know if this game was inspired by that or if it was already in production beforehand but I'm excited to see what it's kind of like oh and this is so there's a second menu screen I guess we do want to go oh demo survey so I wonder if I look into that afterwards if I can say what I've liked what I would like to improve that's interesting I'll definitely have a look in that right we are definitely starting a new game my name will be Sadie my property name always mystic because i can't think of anything else we will keep the town in the region name just basic because i'm not usually very good with that see what kind of hair types we've got we have got a few male female generic hairstyles but i guess you can kind of do either it doesn't look like they have a gender option so you can kind of do whatever you want here i think i'm going to go with this one We've got a few colours as well. I'm just going to go with blonde. Oh god, we've got... We've got a yellow skin colour. I wonder... What is the difference between these two? Just the outfit. I'll just go with this. Alright, we've got... How was your childhood? Countryside lover, you love everything about living outside of urban areas. Taking care of a farm is a joy and animals mean a lot to you. A little bit of a spelling mistake there. Manual work is also something that is not hard for you. Survivor. You learned how to defend yourself during school and also how to find different types of plants and organic things in, the, in nature. <laughs> I, I'm going to guess maybe the developers aren't fully English. I, I try not to, you know, dig it. Anyone who learns another language and is, you know, relatively fluent in it, I really admire. I still want to do that with other languages that I don't know. Yeah, foraging and discovering are things that you really love to do. Food lover, now this sounds like me. For you, cooking is art and spices are gold. Okay, so do spicy, so maybe not. You always think in different ways to cook, not only on the land, but you also know how to deal with different types of seafood. Not a huge fan of seafood either, though I do like sushi. Popular kid. As a kid, you love to talk to others and people always enjoyed being next to you. Joining your friends in many adventures were a big part of your childhood. Builder. Everything can be fixed or created as per your imagination. You love building stuff and destroying as well. Connecting logic and crafting defines what you became today. Collector. You are fascinated by everything the world has to offer. The food, the people, animals, challenges and even the danger. Living the life as some may say. Now I've lived in the countryside since I was, well since I was born really. So I think I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to go with countryside lover here. We got game modes, so they actually have different game modes for a demo. I'm actually quite intrigued by this. We got easy explore. Okay, easy explorer is survival needs are low, stamina recovers faster, creatures are less aggressive. We got normal adventurer, survival needs are normal, stamina recovers at normal speed, and creatures will attack on sight. Okay, so I guess with creatures are less aggressive. That probably just means stuff like wolves will attack you, but not necessarily something like a cow. Um, we'll see what the game has to offer. I think that'll be fun. Right, tutorial enabled, yes. Wow, they even have a new game plus extra items, apparently. Wow, you need to finish the game at least once to activate this. I mean, yeah, that, I was going to say, I'm going to guess that's not a, an option yet, but wow. They're even going to have a new game plus. I'm very excited to see what the demo is going to be like and then even so more so be excited for the um, the actual game. Is that little us? 
Aww. The art is so cute. I'm not sure if it's going to have text or if we're just kind of... I know in uh, Friends of Mineral Town, the remake, they had just a bunch of, like, photos showcasing kind of what a childhood was like and how we ended up at the farm. Is that like a sibling? Is that a lover? Oh, is it my... is it my parents? I'm gonna assume that's my parents. Oh no. Oh, of course. Becoming a teenager. I'm gonna assume that, that that's what that's about. Oh, I thought maybe the parents had died when there was a... Uh, crying with... next to some paper. Oh, my parents are sad to see me go. I'm not tearing up, you are. <laughs> and a little uh, letter in a bottle. Wait, am I getting in a in a tiny little boat? Oh god. I just noticed down the bottom there, it said um, development build 0.1, so this must be like really early in development. Loading terrain. Doesn't, doesn't this look amazing? I'm really intrigued if we're going to get to an island where there's no people and people start to move in. Oh, and that is the start of the game then. Yeah, here, 0.1. Wow. Okay, uh, straight in. Oh. I took barely a few steps. Oh, the boat is gone. At least I am in the correct island, I think. Yeah, I'm going to assume they're going to streamline the English at some point, but for now, like most of most of their text is definitely on point, so. Oh, tutorial. Welcome to the Mahu region. This is a quick guide to get you started. In this game, the camera is fixed and you can use movement with WASD. Jump with space, interaction with E, and action with the left mouse button. You also have basic human needs like hungry, thirsty, and tiredness. Keep a close look to it so you don't get slowed down because of those. Check your stats with tab always when you can, but the game user interface will also show the biggest changes to you. I'm going to try my best not to trip up, but I, I won't promise anything. I will try. Maybe I can try it in my head as I go to um, make it better English, but I don't think it's going to be possible. One last tip before I let you go, explore the island, interact with objects when you can. Objects that you can interact with, uh, objects that you can interact will display an item next to, an icon next to it. God, I can't even, <laughs> it's tripping me up too much. Use the interaction with E to do it. As a first task, try to vi f ooh, f find your home. Just follow the road and go to the northeast from there. Okay, explore the island. I'm quite intrigued. There's, I don't think I've ever played a farming game where it's like survival. Like you can eat food to improve stats or whatever. I hope these things don't want to attack me. Follow the road to the north to reach Sadie's lands. I have just landed on this island and I already own some land. You go to the south, you will reach the pier. Please don't attack me. I wonder if it always rains when you're here and if the frogs are supposed to be here. Oh. What's the point in having the exact same sign, like, two meters apart? Okay. Is this the same one? Mystic, private property of Sadie. Well, we have found our home. As you can see, there are many places to discover. Each time you find a location, you will gain some experience points for the exploration skill. And there are many more skills for you to unlock and upgrade. Okay, nice. So, I do spy something over here. A little bit overgrown. This must be the place. What a mess. But the house looks in one piece. I wonder why my parents wanted me to come here. Ah, so her parents actually sent her off. If I remember well, find the house. Found it. And make it my new home. And then look for the elder. She is responsible for the local town around. Perhaps I could use this to get started and fix this mess. Also, maybe it would be good to find something to eat and drink soon. And later get some rest. Well, let's get that letter and take a look around. I need to also, I need also to get to know the town. <laughs> this is your home. It is a little bit rusty and dirty now, but with time you will be able to upgrade and create new furniture and machines. 
Here you can build your farm, your shops and much more, making sure to make sure it becomes a beautiful place for the tourists to visit. So people are actually going to come to my house and I'm going to have shops. Very exciting. Also, when you get tired, you will have to sleep. There is a bed on on the second floor. You can change it later. Remember that you need to sleep to rest. Every time you sleep, the game will be saved. So it looks like there's no feature for us to save, but going to sleep causes us to save. And if you have a good sleep, you may gain a positive buffer where your energy will replenish much faster for some hours. The same happens if you eat a good meal. Your health may replenish for an amount of time. Now, if you did not already get that wood axe, I mean, <laughs> if you did not already, it kind of just came up with the scream when I walked onto the land. I haven't had a chance to go anywhere. <laughs> now, if you did not already get that wood axe, the shovel, the water can and the pickaxe. Those are very important tools for you to start crafting your own buildings and get to work. And with time, you will also be able to upgrade those tools. All right, let's do I just OK, I actually have to interact with them, I guess. Oh, this will show you relationship status with all the citizens from our name. <laughs> you need to introduce yourself first before the picture of each one is shown here. OK, so we've got 16 villages, so it's quite a small little island. OK, I picked up one thing to build new objects, buy animals or craft items. You will need to use a hammer. Hammers can also be crafted or you can buy from a trader. With hammer equipped on your quick slot, just select it and use the creation menu input key. Default is B. And then you will show up for you with types of buildings and objects to create. Now, I don't know what I select. Okay. Oh. So many different things. If you don't have any water for your watering can, you can get more at rivers or lakes. Watering can can be used for watering your crops. Later, you may unlock some items to speed that up. So I'm wondering if that's hinting at the sprinkler system, a sprinkler system. Just go to a lake, equip the watering can and use the interaction button. OK, was that? Oh, there was one more thing here. Is that what I looked at before? Here, yes, Stadia, this is your new house. There is much more for you to see and we know we did not say much. Also, when you find the elder at Malu Maluhia, she might explain to you what the bottle with a message inside is about. Her name is Tala and she can help you, but first take a look around. This is your new property, your new home. We hope you can make new friends there and have a good life. With love, mummy and daddy. Okay, we got a new message, your new home. Now, I guess I'm supposed to grab these next. We got an iron axe. <laughs> Axes are very important. They can chop trees down and even cut objects if you don't want them anymore. You can craft axes using a workbench. Just make sure you have the right materials. And the shovel. Shovels can be used to dig the ground for items, including getting earth to create crops. Ah, so we can't plant crops straight away. Interesting. They can also be used to destroy roads or sidewalks that you do not want anymore. Shovels can be crafted using a workbench. Seeing a bit of a pattern here with the workbench. Iron pickaxe. Pickaxes are the only tools that can mine minerals and destroy some rocks. Some rocks are only possible to destroy with dynamite, but let's save this for another topic. You can craft pickaxes using a workbench. Okay. Oh, I can't. Okay, so I can't walk into those. We got an apple from foraging. That seems to be a few. Can I? I can walk into them. I was trying to see if I can chop. <gasps> I can. And I'm getting fat from the vine. Yeah, I do have like a stamina bar down the bottom left there. Okay, do I have a map? This is the game world map. It will help you to guide yourself during your journey. It was created a long time ago by an explorer, so it will not have any detailed information. Am I supposed to? So I suppose I'm supposed to go left here. This is probably where I landed. So let's see if we can make our way through. I'm going to assume it's right up here. Oh, and I just noticed, look, our energy is actually refilling at the bottom there. The bottom left. So I just did something. Maybe if I'm not doing something constantly. Yeah, it ref and it refills quite fast. I wonder if that's going to be standard or if it's just because I've only just started the game. Or if it's a demo thing. I have no idea. Jeez, these vines drop a lot of fat. Just in case it is something that isn't supposed to be happening or if it's because it's the first day or whatever, I am just going to get rid of these vines so that I don't keep walking into them and stuff. <laughs> I'd rather rather be a bit safe. I'm also a bit intrigued why these vines are only around my house. I haven't seen them anywhere else. It's almost like a warning against something. 
But we do want to go see... Who was it? Hala? Oh, apparently I... Hit it once and I fly in the other direction. Oh, I just need to catch my breath. Oh, okay. I've been chopping too much. That should be enough. I am curious as to whether the apples... Do they take energy yet? Do... Does the foraging take... I think the foraging does take energy, doesn't it? Okay. Let us head up here. God, the weather is nasty though, isn't it? I'm hoping this is the right way. What does that mean? I'm thirsty. I don't think I have anything to drink. Also, how can I see that? Hey, be careful. There are some nails on the ground. I'm trying to fix the bridge. I don't know what happened. Sorry to not look at you. If I drop this now, we may have a bigger problem. Tell you what. You bring me some materials. Maybe I can finish faster. What do you think? And then we can chat later. Okay, I will help you as soon as I have the materials. I will bring it to you. This is the only way to get to town, right? Okay, I will see what I can do. Sorry, I'm kind of busy. Yeah, sure. Thank you. This will actually help us both. All right. I need 15 wood plates, 10 stone, and 4 rope. Is there a way? We don't have a scythe or anything, so I'm wondering... Because normally I feel like rope you tend to get from plant fiber in most games. Can I do anything with this? Nope. Can I hit any tree? Is my question. Okay, we're getting stone, and we need 10. Is there... Do I have a drink anywhere? Is I see a chest need some kind of key to open and I wonder if there's anything in the house let's go inside the house discovered the location of home we've got an old broken tv they said ah okay so they did say there was a bed on the second floor ah we can actually see the bottom floor oh okay so we can we can break this stuff as well I don't know if this is going to give us what we need but how am I supposed to get anything to drink oh wait I've got a bottle of water I'm getting tired it's only 1 p.m. in game. I wonder if I if I get more tired, what's gonna happen? We're gonna no. God darn it! Okay, <laughs> I accidentally forgot to take that out. Is there? A... Hang on. There are many types of items. Some you can equip. Others are materials to build something or even consume. For example, you can eat apples to decrease your hunger, while coconut water can decrease your thirst. Select the item, add to a quick slot, and use it with action while playing. Usually food and organic items can spoil, so always pay attention to the days they can be out of a refrigerator or fridge. If that happens, they can turn out they can turn into different items. And you can get items while foraging, interacting with the environment, destroying and many other ways. Also, some characters can sell you items, but in this game, you will be the person to help the town with items and providing them with resources. Oh, I'm excited. This definitely seems like my kind of game. That is an essential item to make any fuel-based machines or generators to run. You can get them from spiky plants or some creatures. I wonder... Empty wells can be used to store liquids like water and oil. Go to the nearest lake or water source to fill with water. So it sounds like we can just collect it from any old lake. Is there a way I can see, like, my stats or anything? Like, I was intrigued to see how would I know I'm thirsty. You will gain experience points while doing many actions, like chopping a tree, discovering new places, speaking with people, and many more. There are two types of experience points, overall and skill-based points. Overall means how famous you are in the world. Oh, okay. The more famous you are, more ah, more tourists will become attracted to the town and your property, but that also means more pirates. Wait, what? You can be pillaged? Skills are points where you will gain when you do actions or interact with objects or people. For example, if you chop a tree, you will gain points in foraging. But if you discover a new location, you will gain points in exploration. Each new skill level will unlock new items, recipes, or actions for you to do. Okay, so here, yes, okay, we've got our hunger and our thirst. I'm gonna guess the lower it... Hmm, I'm only 1.8% thirsty, so that probably means I'm close to full, right? I'm not sure. All right. Well, I'm somebody. Am I somebody that you guys used to know, or are you gonna stick around as well? I guess we'll only find out. Oh, I would have thought maybe the TV and the desk would be separate, would be broken separately, but I, I guess not. Okay, I'm a bit hungry and I'm getting tired. That's fine. Can I break these? I can, and I'm getting stone. I'm curious to see how much we can actually do. Like, how tired and how thirsty and stuff we can get. 
Now, I'm wondering... That was a lot of stone, my gosh. Is there a... Oh, this must be the lake up here. Am I... Have I got too much stuff in my inventory, or why am I dropping everything? There we go. Bottle with water. Oh, okay, nice. It is a bit funky with the picking up of items. I keep having to kind of run around and stuff. I wonder if I... So I assume the workbench is what's on the left over here. So it'll tell me how to make rope. And it does say plant fibre, so... How does one get the plant fibre? Is it the knife, maybe? Okay, that looks... Yes, that looks positive. I'm gonna assume it's just these fern-like looking plants that I can cut up. Or can I cut up these? Ooh, I can. Wait, broccoli seeds? Why is it that one of my least favourite vegetables has the most common seeds in this game? Tell me, do you guys prefer uh, cauliflower or broccoli? I hate broccoli. I think it's- I don't mind like the, the leafy bit. But I absolutely hate the stem. Right, we need four. So we can craft multiple things at a time. They have already thought of that, which is good. Ah, okay, and it takes a little bit of time for it to actually be crafted. I also just noticed I'm a, I only have 80 energy, which is uh, curious. I am very tired, so I should probably head to bed shortly. If I can... Hang on. Uh, if I... How tired am I? 81.9. I'll chop down one more tree, and then maybe I can have the wood planks crafting overnight. It was so many wooden logs. Okay, so the ropes are now done. They are picked up straight away. We have wood plate instead of plank. Interesting. We do need to make 16, so we are going to have one loose. But those are going to craft a lot slower than the rope, so I think we made the right decision there. And we're actually going to go to bed for... Okay, we can't go more than 12 hours. So we're just going to chill here. We'll be up at like 4am or something like that. And that is the kind of time I do not wish to be awake at. Right, wake up. So we saved the game, we've woken up. We are full of energy, but we are also hungry. It is also raining again. I'm feeling a little less hungry. We're going to keep eating a few more apples. I don't know how much... Does it say as well how much... How much it replenishes? That would be convenient. Ooh, they sell for... Four. Okay, they restore 20. Oh, you can evolve many skills and unlock new items again or recipes when you gain new levels. Most of the skills are action-based. It means that you need to use that skill to improve. For example, to increase cooking, you need to cook items into a stove on a stove or similar workstation. Okay, so we've already got a little bit of experience here, which is nice. I was supposed to check to see here. All right, I'm going to grab two more apples because being full, I guess, doesn't really matter. We have also got a mission here on the top left saying to find the pier. So depending on if that guy is working, can I really not? Oh, I thought it was going to not let me pick those up then. Depending on if the guy is working up on the bridge right now, we might have to go exploring for the pier. I guess we'll find out. There is a green circle on the map. Okay, it looks like he's still working. Perfect. Did you find the materials? Yes, all materials here. Awesome, thank you. I will be able to speed this up. Get some rest in your home. The next day will be ready, I am sure. Are you kidding me? We have to wait? Ah, oh, Maybe I should have not gone to bed. Hmm. Oh, that's a tad frustrating. When is this the next day? Because I can't go for more than 12 hours. So maybe we'll go and see if we can find the pier. The sun is slowly starting to creep up too. Alright. Down south, so... Should we keep heading down here? The broggies are still here. Maybe it's just like... Ooh, a very rainy England. Ow! Okay. A bee's hurt. And I can't even shake the apple down. Probably wise. Oh yeah, that's how I got the 20 damage last time. I walked into the tree. Uh, into the vine. What is the... Uh, I'm full of energy, aren't I? Why is it saying that we're low on energy? It says I'm well rested. Okay, well, we need to drink anyway, so we'll drink anyway. Oh, maybe that's what that was about. Let's grab some more apples anyway while we're here. May as well. Okay, the item collection is a tad frustrating. Oh, 
we've got another sign here. Follow the road to the north. The exact same sign. <laughs> I feel like you don't need that sign around so much. Is that a mushroom? Oh. Oh, we actually got a carrot seed that time. And we got some mushrooms. Mushroom orange and mushroom red. And it's not ready to harvest. So it looks like we can come back and harvest at another point. Is there a limit? Ooh, wait. Cherries grow on trees, don't they? Ah, uh, we do have a max number of slots. So it might not be the best idea for us to go and collect everything that we see. As much as I want to grab the flowers, that is still a cherry. I swear they're... I mean, I don't know if this game is supposed to be accurate to real life, but I swear they grow on trees. I do see there's a little... Ooh, I wonder, since they're targets, they might attack us. They'll probably attack us. Let's see if we can harvest these mushrooms. I was going to say avoid them. Okay, and that is a full bag, I think. Yep. Let's see if we can head... Can we, like, jump down the cliff here? <gasps> we can! Okay. Now, I'm not sure. The, it looks like the pier is over to the left over here, according to the map anyway. So I guess we'll see what we can find. Doesn't look like we can pick up the shells. Oh, that looks like a pier. Yep. All right. New location discovered. Skills improved. I can't jump up the thing. Can I? Okay, it looks like you can't really interact with anything on the beach. Now we have to go to the east beach. All right, let's head on over. See if we can avoid the... Uh, these little guys again. Look at me go! I'm having a grand old time running around with this dagger in my hand. Oh, there's some more flowers and I assume that's... So it looks like you can gather pretty much everything. Those look like they're pretty safe to always be cherries, so I, I may as well gather those. Can I... Oh, I can't jump, but it looks like I can interact with the gate. Okay. Put on a little wiggle jiggle. Where am I? Okay, we need to... Wow, this island is actually quite large. We need to keep heading even further east. Ah, there's some more bees, so we're going to avoid those. We've learnt our lesson. I don't know. It just said East Beach. I don't know how far north or south is it, if there's any sort of mile... Wait. Is that me? No. Star isn't me, right? I thought it was. Okay, that's that mission done. Apparently we can't go very close to the water. This is going to need a key as well, isn't it? That's sad. Get some rest at home. Alright, apparently both missions now are telling me that I need to rest at home. So we're going to go home and have a look-see if we can maybe build a storage chest or something. Because I could... Oh, and another chest. They're all teasing me. It, I need... I, I found three chests. What's this? Can I go in? Ooh, we can. Ancient cave, new location discovered. Uh, this looks smartly terrifying. What have we got here? There is not much to do inside caves in this demo, but expect different creatures, items, and secrets in our full version. We even have secrets and videos in our social channels about it. Ooh, okay. So they've given you a bit of a taste and a feel for the caves in this game, but they haven't actually got anything there yet. That isn't by any chance the... Yeah. So this is... Okay. A little star is me, but I guess it's not 100% accurate, maybe? Wait. There's a little frog. I thought I saw something. I do need to... What? How do I... I don't know if there's a way for me to change that. So we doubly need to grab a storage chest so I can sort out my, my inventory. Because apparently I'm doing it wrong. So the reason I keep going the wrong way on the scrolly bar is because it does it in the opposite way that I'm used to or that I that I like. <laughs> Just so that you're uh, aware of that one. Right, let's see, we can make a bunch of stuff here. I can't find a storage chest anywhere. <gasps> okay, we've got keys and everything. We've got a fishing rod. We have... I assume for the nails we need iron... Okay, iron ingots. How is it possible that there's no storage chest? Unless, is there one around here that I just haven't seen? I don't think so. So it might be just a case of me working until we're tired, sleeping the night away, 
And then waking up in the morning. We're only on 40% tiredness. Alright. I think I'm going to be here a while, so... I guess I'll, uh... See you guys when I'm done. One thing I can say for sure... Is that... I'm pretty sure this game is... Very much made for me because it really appeals to my side that likes collecting things like you can see here i've cleared out most of this area i did collect an extra type of seed which was the lettuce seed and i just noticed the top left there doesn't seem to have any of my quests so i don't know if we have to wait for a certain amount of time i will put on some more wood plates since we already have one slot being used for that i guess we may as well make some more use the time that we have and everything and well it looks like the quests haven't activated yet. I was just going to say I'm going to use that time to collect some more items. But I will just head up over here just to see if he will activate the quest anyway. Or if I can already maybe head into town. Maybe he's already fixed it. Judging from the map, yep, it looks like he's fixed it. Wow, he worked very fast on that. And that is a gorgeous little bit of light there. Loading terrain. So we're actually heading into a new area now. The bridge between town and Thady's property. Oh, we've got another sign here. Follow the road to Malu... I really struggle with that name. With To Maluhia Town on your left and on your right you will reach the lands of Thady. There is also a warning. Do not destroy nature in this region. Ah, okay. So we are not allowed to hit anything. Even though that looks unique. I will not do anything. What about the vines? Surely you'd want me to get rid of the vines, right? does say that I need to drink. So maybe I should have gone to fill that up first. Oh well. It is what it is. Uh, maybe we can find a lake over on this side. Oh, and we have someone here. A John. Hey, hello. I don't remember you here before, but my memory is not as good as it was before. What can this little old man do for you? Uh, nothing really, I'm Sadie, just trying to get to know everyone here. I'm Sadie, I don't need anything really, I was just passing through. My name is Sadie, I was just passing through, good to know you. I did not get your name, sorry. Um, nothing really, I'm Sadie, just trying to get to know everyone. Ah, uh, yes, yes, my name is John. I am, how can I say, someone that likes to live a simple life. I don't care too much about some stuff. You can find me near my tent, I like to go around the beach and see the ocean. Remember, if you have a spare coin sometime, I am always here. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so this is just a... I, I thought maybe it was a mission spot. But maybe it's just someone I can meet. Ah, this is as far as you can go in the demo version. Thank you very much for playing our game. From this point and forward, you would find the town and all citizens. And will be able to get quests, explore caves, and visit some unique places. Everything will be available when we release the game. You can keep playing in your own island with the resources available in the demo. Please do not forget to report bugs or suggestions in our forums. Okay, so that's actually the end of the demo. It's very short, but very sweet. And I can say I really enjoy the art style and everything. So, ah, so this is John's little uh, campsite. It's nice that they put like out a character, even if it's just one character, to kind of gorge kind of the um, interactions between you and townspeople and stuff. I'm not sure if the demo will kind of stay open or if they'll um, like close it down. Probably will know by the time this video goes up. Which might be a little while between uh, now and when I've played it. As of right now, I think it's really, really charming. It's definitely the kind of game that I think... Oh, and another chest. That I would be very addicted to. I am wondering. One thing I do want to check quick. Oh. Maybe that's why I don't have a storage chest yet. They don't want you to do too much. I guess it makes sense because the game would disappear eventually anyway. Like your save file. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit sad we can't do any more. I mean, we could, but I've got no storage, so it kind of it kind of defeats the point of trying to do more. So I did just check the other tabs. There was nothing of note in terms of storage and everything, but I did just see the little relationships tab, and you can see here the two people that we've encountered now, Tony and John. I guess Tony really appreciated our help. He's at 25% likeability now not quite sure what to call that but yeah if i can't do anything because i can't store i guess there's no point me really continuing the game 
so I think I'm going to end the video here hopefully you enjoyed this first look I can say I really enjoyed it um, even the little bit of grinding that I kind of did off camera while we waited for the next day to kind of appear um, I really enjoyed that and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're as excited about the future of this game as I am, and I'll hopefully see you around. Bye!